Welcome to our tech troubleshooting series. Today, we're tackling a perplexing issue that many developers encounter when working with SCTP on FreeBSD. Our question revolves around the function SCTP Connect X, which is returning an EINVOL error. Let's dive into the details and uncover what's going wrong. Welcome back to another technical video. Today I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. Let's analyze the issue with the SCTP ConnectX function returning E and vol on FreeBSD. First, we need to ensure that the socket is created correctly. Next, we initialize the SOC adder in structure. This structure holds the address information for the connection. Make sure to set the family, port, and address correctly. Now we call SCTP ConnectX. This function attempts to connect to the specified address. If it fails, we need to check the parameters we passed. The EINVOL error indicates an invalid argument. One common issue is that the socket options may not be set correctly. Let's check the socket options. Finally, ensure that the SCTP protocol is properly supported and configured on your FreeBSD system. You may need to check kernel settings or load necessary modules. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. The issue with SCTP ConnectX returning eEinvol on FreeBSD is likely due to a problem with setSockopt. This error indicates that an accept filter was attempted on a non-listening socket. To resolve this, first check your socket options to ensure they are correct for your listener socket. Also, verify the functions htons and init adder for any errors. It's recommended to avoid using init adder due to potential issues. Instead, consider using init aton, init python, or get adder info for better error handling. And that's it, guys. I hope this video helped get you that answer that you're looking for. Now, I'll see you next time. Please subscribe for more question and answer videos. And if you have any more, please shoot them through in the comments. Have a good one.